So let's go ahead and we're just going to sit in a regular pose right here. If we were standing, this would be our Tadasana, right? So um, in this nice position with our toes forward, our knees and our ankles are in line. And we're sitting so our hips, shoulders, and ears are in line. Let's do a little bit of um, modifying of that, of that chin, so of how that posture will be. So we're going to stick the chin out, and then we're going to bring those ears back. Good, stick the chin up and bring the ears back. Good, so it's like a turtle checking to see if there's any food and he says nope and he sticks it in. Or maybe like a little crab who sticks his head out of the hole and then sticks it back and says nope, not going out today. Good, all right, <clears throat> one more. Good, now I want you to tuck that chin in and we're gonna do our simple neck stretch with a turn and see how hard it appears to be with that neck or that chin tucked in so far, right? Good, and right here. And then turn it. Good, now just relax to that normal posture where you feel like you're not really pushing that chin and just turn that head and see the difference. A little relaxed feeling, a little better there. Good, and then let's do just a simple head nod, but keep those shoulders lifted and elevated. Simple head nod. Let's breathe. All right. Let's tuck our chin here, and I want you to hold with those shoulders up in your back pockets, just the chin tucks, and I want you to hold here and breathe. Right down into the belly. We'll do three of those big breaths. Feel how that calms you, how that relaxes your muscles. One more. And then let's roll those shoulders back. All right. All right. Very good. Hands draw on those thighs. Let's do a little cat and cow. So we could do this standing or seated. So cat pose has us curl through the spine. And cow pose has us look up a little bit and push that spine forward so we have a little curve in that back. So it's like a back bend, if you will. Let's go a little faster. Good. All right. Good. All right. So if we were to do a warrior one standing behind a chair, if we were seated in the chair, if we stay seated, here's what a warrior one would look like. Um, so we're going to inhale, lift right here. Here's that warrior one. We could anchor behind on the chair. Good. So everybody do that with me. Warrior one in the chair. Getting, we're warming up here. Right? So here's that warrior one. Good. We can put that arm down. We could do a little bend to the side. Good. And we could inhale that up and do a warrior two. Here's that warrior two. Guess what? We could even do a modified warrior three. So we turn back to warrior one here. Here's a modified warrior three. Maybe we're lifting that foot slightly off the floor. Maybe we're just leaning forward, shifting that weight forward. And inhale and come all the way up. Good. Now, anything we do on one side, we have to do on the other. So we're going to slide that leg forward so we don't make anything snap, crackle, or pop. And we're going to go to that other side. So here's that warrior one again. Here it is. Nice and tall posture. Holding on in the back if we need it. Reaching it up. We're still warming everything up. Good. We could take that out inside hand and put it down. And just um, lean over for that bend here. Good. So if we do a side bend standing, you can. this is your side bend in the chair. And then we're going to inhale up into warrior two. Beautiful warrior two, facing forward. Good, inhale up. And that's back to warrior one. Here's warrior three with a little lift, maybe of the back foot, maybe not. Maybe we just keep the toe lightly on the floor, you decide. And then let's come all the way back to get out of this pose. We slide that leg forward and come back into the center. Good. So if we do a standing hamstring stretch, here's your hamstring stretch in the chair. Good. 
So this would also be an intense side stretch. If we were doing an intense side stretch, this would be your reach here as well. And let's bring it up. Let's do that other side. So nice tall posture, reach. Good. Keep that spine nice and straight. Ears and shoulders are in line with each other. Good. So this is our warm up for today. Good. Come all the way up. I don't know if anybody heard that. There's a big noise up top here. Um, so here would be a down dog on the chair. So if we were sitting in the chair, and we did not want to get up, and I said down dog while we're standing. Here's a down dog in the chair. Nice tall posture, ears and shoulders are in line. We're stretching. Good, leaning a little bit forward. Good, and bring it back. So if I said a wide leg down dog on a chair, here's those wide legs, right? Same thing, reach. Good. Nice way to warm up for those of us that are gonna stand, right? And for those of us that are seated, we're going to get double benefit today. Good. Very good. All right. So there's just a real brief primer on how you can do some of those same things in the chair. Some of it's hard. Um, if I were to say, um, you know, uh, do a, a side standing bend, here's a side standing bend in the chair, right? But we're not standing, it's a seated side bend. Good. Keep doing it with me. This is our warm up. And let's go over to the other side. Good. And if I were to say let's cross one foot over, same thing. We just do it right in the chair, crossing one foot over. Good. And then the other foot goes over. So let's uncross, let's march those feet. So those of you that want to stand up with me can stand up with me today. But we're going to do something a little bit different when we stand today. I'll show you. You can do it with me. Good. Oh, one last one. So one last one that we are going to do standing today. So if I were to say let's do a forward fold, here's a forward fold in the chair. So we inhale, lift. We swan dive down. And we stop right here if we get dizzy easily, if we've had glaucoma surgery, cataract surgery, we stop. For those of you that can, we forward fold all the way, letting those arms slide down. This is a forward fold in the chair. Sorry, don't think you can that microphone. This is that forward fold in the chair. So inhale lift, come all the way up. One more time, swan dive down, stopping if you need to, and then we forward fold. There, there's that forward fold. Oh, doesn't that feel good on the back? Mm -hmm. So if you were doing this, and you'd, you'd want to just tuck your head in a little bit and shake it. Good. Oh, inhale, let's come up. All right, now let's go ahead and come up off that chair. So march those feet, get the blood in those feet. Good, plant those feet. Let's go ahead and come on up. And I'm going to have you today, those of you that are standing with me, I want you to turn your chair towards you. So for those of you that are looking straight on on the screen, you're straight on on the screen. I'm going to turn my chair to the side so that you can see, but I want you to stay here doing everything where you can see me the best, where you don't have to turn your head, okay? Because it's not good for your cervical spine to always have to crane your neck. All right, so we're going to turn that chair towards us. Good. Remember all those turns that we did on the chair, we're going to do those standing. So the first one, um, we're going to inhale, lift. We just did it. We're going to do a forward fold. So we forward fold, we swan dive down, sticking that bottom back, bringing those hands to the chair. Good. And for, for some of us, we could actually bring our forearms to the chair. So you decide which person you are. You, you listen to your body and adjust as you need to, right? Let the head hang just a little. Good. There's our forward fold. You should be feeling a deep stretch into those hamstrings. Good. Uh, one more breath here. All right, now push back into your heels. Inhale, lift all the way up. Oh, good. All right. So let's work just a little bit on that warrior series, and we'll come back to that forward fold and do some other things using the chair in this manner. So let's take one leg forward, and I want you to step forward such that your foot 
is underneath the chair, and when you bend your knee, it's pushing your chair, but not pushing it away or over. So I'm gonna take a little step back here. Good, and I'm gonna, I have a touch point here, but I don't have a push point, right? So I'm not gonna push on it. So I am gonna use it for support. I am gonna use it for balance. I'm touching my leg there, and I have my warrior one right here. Now, if you feel unstable, you don't like the way this feels because you can't grab the back of the chair, I want you to go ahead and turn your chair back and do it the way you would normally do it, okay? So that'd be perfectly fine. All right, so inhale, lift. Here's that warrior one. Here's our touch point right on that leg. Good, lift it up nice and tall. We're pushing that back heel into the floor. Good, feel that nice stretch here. The knee is slightly bent on that leg that's in the front. Building strength there as well. Let's come into a cactus pose. Coming into that cactus pose. Good, holding here into that warrior one position. Good, all right, now lift those arms up. Remember in the chair we did that pivot. So here's that pivot for that warrior two right here. Warrior two. Okay, making sure that wasn't one of you, Tanya. You're cutting the head off or something. Warrior two position right here. Good, let's take this and we're gonna um, bring it up and we're gonna bring it over. Feeling that nice stretch. I still have my knee on the chair. That's my touch point for today. So that's gonna help me with my balance. It's gonna help me be stable. Good, inhale, let's come all the way up. Bring it back. Big stretch through the side. Let's inhale it up, warrior two, right here, nice proud warriors. Good. Let's pivot back or turn back for our warrior one. I need to take a step forward because I was a little far back there. Good, and then I'm gonna shift my weight to the front leg and come up for warrior three. Now your arms could be wherever you're comfortable. Maybe your arms are better here, maybe with those yoga fingers. I like to take my back swept like an airplane. You decide what works best for you. Good, we're gonna take that foot, we're gonna put it right back where it came from. Ooh, good. Now we're gonna do that hamstring stretch. So that one leg is forward, and we lean over, and for us standing, we're gonna grab that chair. Good, push those hips back ever so slightly, lift that toe. Good, push those hips back. Good. Can you bend a little further towards your chair? Seeing you have your chair to lean on, you can build some strength in that shoulder at the same time. Good, let's put that toe down, bring that knee back to the chair because that's gonna help us. We're gonna stand back up into that warrior one position. Good, and remember we talked about a warrior one and doing a side bend. So one hand comes to the side, the same arm as the leg that's back, we come over. Good. Oh, are you pushing that back foot into the floor? See how that makes a big difference. Look underneath that shoulder. Ooh, that stacked your shoulder maybe, maybe made you wobble just a little bit. All right, let's bring that all the way up. Let's step that back foot forward, pausing in the middle for just a little bit. So let's pause right here in the middle. Let's inhale, lift. We're gonna swan dive down to that chair. Good, remember the cat and cow we did? We can do that right here with the chair. Now hands either on the chair or grabbing the sides of the chair. I'm gonna take a little step back so my ankles are below my hips. Curl right here, curl through the spine. Oh, push away. And then inhale and sway that back and look up. Good, and curl. And sway. And curl. And sway. Good, and then let's bring it right back to the center. Let's push back into those heels. Inhale and lift. 
hanging there and bring it down. One more thing before we go to that other leg. Let's do one more forward fold. So we inhale, lift. Remember in the chair, we're coming forward, letting our belly lay on our legs, letting the head hang. So here we are here, or we're bringing those forearms here. For some of us, we're flexible enough, we could actually bring our feet, or our hands to the floor by our feet. Good. Let's just hang out here, stretching through those hamstrings. Soften your knees, but lengthen the hip. So I want you to not lock out the knee, but make sure it's straight, and then push those hips up into the air. Feeling that nice hamstring stretch. Push yourself back ever so slightly. You'll get a little deeper stretch. One more breath here. Good. Let's put those hands back on the chair. Bending those knees. Push yourself back. Inhale. Come up. Good. All right, so let's do the other leg here. So it's going to make me turn away from you, but that's okay now that you know where we're going. So we're going to put that foot underneath the floor, putting the knee on the chair, but not so much that I'm pushing the chair away. So I'm going to pull that back, and I'm going to take a step back here. Good, so that now I'm in that warrior one position. I'm using that knee to tap the chair, but I'm not pushing it away or pushing it over. Inhale, lifting up for warrior one here. Straightening that back leg, pushing that heel towards the floor, into the floor, depending on your flexibility. Good, nice stretch here. Bringing those arms into cactus pose. Good. All right, hold that cactus pose. I'm going to turn my chair because I don't want to turn away from you. Okay. Holding that cactus pose. All right, now. I'll bring those arms up again. Let's twist for warrior one. So we pivot the back foot. We're now in warrior two right here. So we went from warrior one to warrior two. The leg is on the chair. I'm not pushing it over. Good. Still in that nice warrior two position. Nice wideness here. Pushing those legs away. Shoulders are down and relaxed. Right? I can't get comfortable for some reason here. All right. So let's come forward for that forward warrior right here. Bending, pushing, straightening. That arm, pushing that foot back, feeling that nice stretch in the hip. Good. All right, let's inhale that up. Keep the bend in the knee. We're building strength there. And bring it all the way back. Beautiful. Good. Now inhale and lift those arms up, back into that warrior two position. We're going to pivot that foot back forward, warrior one. Good. I'm going to take a step forward because my foot was back maybe a little bit far. Good. And we're going to shift our weight to the front leg and we're coming back up for that warrior one. Or not warrior one, excuse me, warrior three. Good. Maybe we're sweeping those arms back. Beautiful. Hold it, balancing, using that touch point on the chair. Inhale, let's lift it back up. The leg comes back where it was. And remember earlier we did that side bend. So the arm that's the same as the leg that's forward stays lifted, and we come over to the side, still pushing on that chair if you're with me. Maybe you're standing behind the chair because you were unstable, and that's okay. Always choose safety. Look underneath that armpit, push that heel into the floor, feel the stretch. Beautiful. Good, inhale, let's come all the way up. Good. For those of us that are standing, we're gonna grab that chair. Push those hips back, lift that toe. If you're on the chair, you're bringing, bringing that leg forward, hamstring stretch right here. Good, bend those elbows if you're standing. Push that hip back, breathe. Elongate through that leg, through that hip. Let's put that foot on the floor. And this time, let's step it forward. 
Inhale, come all the way up. Okay. All right. So before we get back into the chair for some other stretches, let's do just a couple more things right here with that forward fold. So we're going to inhale, lift. Swan dive down, coming into that forward fold with those hands as far down as we want to go. Good. And now I want you to make sure your feet are right below your hips. And then we're going to walk the dog. So we're going to walk the dog a little bit here. We're going to move those legs similar to the down dog on the chair. We'll get there in a moment. This is a forward fold with a down dog kind of movement. Good. All right. Now let's bring those legs back in. We're going to bring those hands back up. This time we're going to walk ourselves back. Now we're pushing back. Here's your down dog on the chair right there. Down dog. So if you're in the chair, feet out, arms up. Right here, this is our down dog. We're pushing ourselves back. We're bringing our arms, or our ears between our arms, trying to keep our back nice and flat. Looking at the floor right in front of you, don't look at your legs, and please don't look at me. That's going to hurt your neck very much. I am still here. I'm still in my down dog. I'll tell you when we're done. All right, now walk that dog. Do you feel the difference? Bending those knees and straightening one knee at a time. Bend and straighten. And breathe. All right, now hips lift, quiet those knees. One more breath right here, holding in that down dog, nice big breath. Good. All right, let's bend those knees, let's walk it forward. Good, heels, uh, the weight goes into those heels. Inhale, lift. Ah, good. Now let's go ahead and have a seat in our chair. So coming back to that chair, sitting up nice and tall, let's inhale, lift, arms go to a cactus pose, good, feet come back solidly on the floor, let's take the right arm over the top of the left, so right here we're making a letter S, we could um, hold our shoulders here or we could clasp our hands here for that eagle arm, these are eagle arms right here, good, sitting up nice and tall. Let's take this and we're going to bring it down and crunch it if you can. And your arms can be wherever your arms are comfortable, at the shoulders or in the letter X. Okay, bring it all the way up. Good. Now let's cross the same leg over so that right leg comes over if you can. If you can't cross at the ankle, that's fine. Because some of us can even tuck that foot underneath. Now don't do it if it's going to hurt, right? Sitting up nice and tall in that eagle pose on the chair. If you can and it's comfortable, crunch it forward. Inhale and lift. Uncross and uncross and untuck. Good. All right. When I first learned the eagle pose in the chair, my instructor called it a hook. So hook your foot around, and then she'd say, are you a hooker? Ha, 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 All right. All right, arms go up right here. We're gonna take that left arm over the top. Remember, we could be here, we could be here, or we could do the full eagle arms you choose. Before we even get to the legs, let's go ahead and do one little crunch right here, crunching through the belly. Holding here, feeling that stretch. Good, let's lift it up. Good, now let's take that same side leg, either cross at the ankle or we cross over the top. Maybe you can tuck, maybe not, that's okay. You do what works for you. Sit up nice and tall, crunch it. Oh, yeah. Big stretch there, isn't it? those arms, untuck, and undo those legs. Good. All right, you can sure I still have sound. Yep, I do. Okay, I must have turned it a little bit high. Yep, I did. All right, so let's rock just a little bit. Uh, take some of that tightness out. 
Good. All right. Let's bring those arms all the way out, nice and strong. Imagine that there was an electric bolt coming out of your fingertips. I don't know about you, but we didn't get a lot of thunderstorms last night, but there was a lot of electricity around the air, wasn't there? All right, so take one arm, we're going to slide it right down and reach up and turn and twist with a look. And bring it up. Let's do that other side. We slide it down and turn and twist with a look. Remember, if that doesn't feel good, hand can go on the hip. And then let's come all the way up. Let's grab the back of that chair, lean it forward, tuck that chin. Good. And then let's come all the way up. Let's roll the shoulders back. Hands come right to that thigh. Let's bring one ear over. Uh, now with your ear over, I want you to take the opposite shoulder and shrug it. Just up and down, nice and gentle. And then let's take it back and roll it. Roll that shoulder. All right, now let's quiet that shoulder, push it down, keeping that ear there. I want you to tuck that chin ever so slightly. If it hurts at all, back off. So we made a lot of movement there, didn't we? Bring that ear over and all the way up. Let's do the other side. So bring that ear over to the side. We start with that shoulder shrug. And then we roll that shoulder back. Good. And then relax that shoulder down. Push it down. Bring that chin down just a little bit. Deep stretch into the neck. Now let's just shrug both shoulders a little bit. See how they feel. A little looser maybe. Not quite so tight. Let's roll those shoulders back. Good. All right, let's focus just a moment on the lower part of our body. So knee locks, come on. Let's rock those ankles. And if you can get out and walk today, it's so good to get a different perspective. Those feet on the floor, even if today is a rainy day, put on a jacket. As long as it's not a gully washer, we can get a little wet, right? And then bring it back. So far, I haven't met anyone here who melted. And then one more roll. Keep those knees where they are. Good, and bring it all the way down. Now let's scoot back in that chair. Sit up nice and tall. Let's take those ankles and roll. And then roll the other way. Good. And then a point and a flex. We're doing our hands at the same time. Good. Working that big calf muscle that pumps things into our body from the oil, um, helps us with fluid retention, that kind of thing. All right, let's put those feet down, hands down, relax in that chair. Remember, we first stick our tail feathers through the hole in our chair, if there is one, or um, through the point where the base of the chair and the top of the chair come together, and then we sit back, closing our eyes, finding a moment for quiet. This would be a great time to turn off the TV if you like and just meditate listening to the sounds around you. If you're joining me, let's just be quiet for a moment, relaxing, feeling soft, feeling comfortable and safe.
slowly bring your focus back into the room and hold on to that quiet, soft feeling. Let's open up those eyes. Take a big deep breath. Inhale, lift those hands up and bring them into prayer. Thank you so much for joining me with yoga today. I hope that you are stretched and energized and ready for a fabulous day. Namaste.